Hey, it's Farmer Floyd, and today I want to do a video on the uh, Rena Coop electric poultry net. What I've done is you see me put one up, I've extended it to um, put two of them together, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. But before we get started, I would like to say please smash that like button and subscribe. electric poultry net that I have and we're going to connect it to this one so the chickens have more room to run. Now what I've already done is went ahead and brought a weed eater out here and I, I weed eated uh, just kind of guessed how far it'll go and uh, kind of kind of give me something to work with here but the reason I weed eat is because when the grass gets up and uh, hits those green wires you know it's an electric poultry net so it's going to it's going to going to draw away from how much uh, how many bolts are going through the fence itself so let's go ahead and get this moved and get it kind of set up and see what we're going to do we're going to lay it out and then we'll we'll put everything up and then uh, we'll have the chickens some more room to run perfectly square but that's okay I got a brush pile right here that uh, needs to be burned down but the bright side is how I've got it set up is I can always pull that section back and move the pin, burn the brush pile and then uh, square it on out but you know it doesn't have to be perfect I'm just trying to give them more square foot to run around and uh, hopefully my grass will be a lot better next year so let's go ahead and get it all standing up Okay, now all we gotta do is hook up our electric fence charger to the fence. Uh, make sure we got the light running out to the chicken so they'll keep laying eggs. And by the way, that has, uh, they've, they've just started back laying. So I wish I never would let them stop, but you know, first year of doing all this. So uh, go ahead and get everything hooked back up. I'm gonna put another top on here. All this is waterproof, but I'm gonna put another top on it. This is what I had laying around. Anyway. Uh, we're going to get all this hooked back up. And then what we're going to do is take, uh, like you see, I already have these, and put some stakes in there. Because when you get a good storm, uh, it could blow these over if you didn't have them staked down. But I'm going to tell you right now, we've had some good storms come through here, some, some major storms. And this fence, is, I've only had it go down one time on one that I did not have a stake on. But what I usually do is stake every other one but you just have to see how your fence is, is doing, but, uh, and, and, and just figure it out on your own. This is, I love this system. I absolutely love this system. I love that the chickens are able to roam around. Um, they're safe in there. We've only had one predator attack, which was a hawk. 
as far as everything else. And we have coyotes bad. I got coyote den right back here. Uh, they don't like that electricity, so they stay away from it. But this is a really good system. This is a, a Renacoop poultry electric fence. And uh, I really like this system. And the reason I like it is because you have the bigger spots right here. But say they had some young in there, the young wouldn't be able to get out, which I hatch all the young, so really didn't need that. But it, just that being that small squares on the bottom made me feel more comfortable, I guess. But uh, we'll go ahead and get everything put back up and get it staked out. And make sure we got good voltage going to it. And other than that, the chickens will be happy. But uh, I got two nets hooked up. Both of them are 164 foot. So for all my subscribers out there, what I would like for you to do, if this was totally square, 164 foot plus 164 foot, how many square foot would that be on the inside of this fence? I would like to know the answer to that. Uh, if anyone could give me the answer, that'd be greatly appreciated. But we'll go ahead and get everything hooked back up, and I'll get back with y'all in a little bit. Electric poultry net hooked up. Um, right now, it's hitting at 6,000 volts. The minimum you want is 4,000 volts. Um, what I have is these little El Cheapos uh, electric fence charger uh, light tester. Uh, they go out real easy. I mean, they're, they're cheaply made. I mean, just when you really look at them. You can see how cheaply they are made. I'm going to my local feed store and I'm going to get a better one, but it costs around 60 bucks. These are like 12 bucks. But everything's hooked up good and everything's running good and uh, we had no issues. So it's been a, been a few weeks, like a week. So everything's running just fine. I'm, I'm happy with it, but I would like to get a better fence charger so I keep a closer eye on things. But I would like to thank you all for watching. And this is Farmer Floyd saying goodbye, good night. And God bless.